founder of PayPal and the founder of both Tesla and SpaceX. He will lead us to Mars whether we want to go there or not. Please welcome Elon Musk. Mr. Elon Musk. To Elon Musk. To Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Try to learn a little bit about a lot of things. Because um, you might not know what you're really interested in. How would you know what you're really interested in if you at least aren't like doing a peripheral explore, exploration of broadly of of the knowledge landscape um, and, and t you know, talk to people from different walks of life and different uh, industries and professions and skills and occupations like just try you know, learn as much as possible anything which is significantly innovative is going to come with a significant risk of failure um, and um, but you know, if you, you've got to take big chances in order for the potential for a big positive outcome. Um, and um, you know, just if, and if, if I mean, if, if the outcome is exciting enough, then then taking a big risk is worthwhile. Like, there's a friend of mine who's got a great saying about creating a company, um, which is uh, creating try, trying to build a company and have it succeed is like eating glass and staring into the abyss. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, what tends to happen is it's sort of quite exciting for the first several months of, of starting a company, and then then reality sets in, things don't go as well as planned, customers aren't signing up, the technology or the product isn't working as well as you thought, um, and um, and then that can sometimes be compounded by a recession, um, and uh, it can be very, very painful for several years. Um, so I think... Um, Frankly, starting a company, I would advise people to have a high pain tolerance. Yeah. I'd encourage people to read a lot of books. Hmm. Just read, like, I mean, basically try to ingest as much information as you can. Uh, and, and particularly if you're the CEO of the company, you actually have a distillation of all the worst problems in the company. There's no point in spending your time on things that are going right. So you only spend on things on your time on things that are going wrong. And, and there are things that are going wrong that other people can't, can't take care of. So you're like the worst. You have a filter for the crappest problem in the company. <laughs> the most pernicious and painful problem. So I wouldn't say it's, it's it, I think you have to feel quite compelled to do it. It, it. it is definitely true that, I mean, maybe there are occasionally companies that get created where, where there's not an extended period of extreme pain. Um, but, but I'm not aware of, you know, very many of such instances. Yeah. Um, and um, so, but I, I do think that, uh, that, that you know, new great entrepreneurs are, are born ev every day, um, and we'll continue to see amazing companies get built. Um, so, um, yeah, but I, but I, I would uh, definitely advise people who are starting a company to expect a, a, a long period of quite high difficulty. Try to be useful. Um, you know, do things that are useful to your fellow human beings, to the world. It's very hard to be useful. Um, very hard. Um, you know, are, are you contributing more than you consume? Constantly seek criticism. Yeah. Uh, a, a well, a well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. Um, and you should seek that from everyone you can. But